for some investors who are looking for depreciation expense to offset their income on their tax return, uh, as well as for the property itself, it can have a big impact for people. We talked a little bit before um, the podcast started because, you know, here at Capital Gains um, Tax Solutions, we're really trying to help people manage their taxes, like, you know, especially for people that make a lot of money and need those tax deductions, you know, where do you find them? And so you had talked a little bit about some of the accelerated depreciation that you're doing on some of your investments. Let's start at the beginning, explain that, what that is to our investors, right, or our listeners, so they can understand what that would mean as an investor. And then talk to us a little bit about how that works. Yeah, so you know, that's one of the great benefits about real estate is the the tax benefits that come along with it. Um, through the uh, tax cut regulations that came through a few years ago, they created this concept of bonus depreciation, which essentially allowed uh, certain components of real estate be accelerated faster. So versus just a straight line depreciation, um, just an equal amount over the life of the asset, you can take portions of the purchase price and just and depreciate those in the first year. So for some investors who are looking for depreciation expense to offset their income on their tax return, uh, as well as for the property itself, it can have a big impact for people. So for the uh, the mobile home parks, um, apartments and RV parks that I've uh, been uh, part of putting deals together on, we've hired cost segregation accountants to do these studies to go out and look at the property and separate it into its different components that tries to allow for uh, faster depreciation of certain components of uh, of the asset. And for some of my investors, that's a big deal. Uh, the, the, I was um, uh, my most recent project was for an RV park in Texas. Uh, had one of my investors had recently sold a duplex didn't do a 1031 exchange and was specifically looking for depreciation expense in 2022 to offset his gains. So he was looking at our investment through two lenses. Is this a good investment that I think is going to be, you know, going to generate the good returns and be good for the three to five year hold period, but also in the short term, you know, am I going to get depreciation and how much would you expect I would get? Got it. <laughs> 